Most people get this math question wrong, and it looks way easier than it really is. The problem is simple. 20 divided by 2 times 5 all over 2. Just a short string of operations, no brackets, no powers, and only the numbers 20, 2, and 5. Sounds easy, right? But hold on. This is exactly where so many people make a mistake. Let's break it down carefully and see what the real answer is. Now, some people might start by multiplying 2 times 5. That gives 10. Then they divide 20 by 10 and get 2. Finally, they divide 2 by 2 and end up with 1. Sounds neat, right? It feels reasonable, and many people would confidently say the answer is 1. But that's not correct. In fact, that method breaks one of the most basic and important rules in all of math, the order of operations. Others might do it differently. They start with 20 divided by 2, which gives 10. Then they multiply 10 by 5 to get 50. And finally, they divide 50 by 2 and get 25. So now the question is, which one is actually correct? Is it 1 or 25? Let's find out. To figure that out, we need to talk about something really important. The order of operations. Why this rule is the key. Imagine a world where everyone solved the same math problem differently. If one person multiplied first, another divided, and a third went from right to left, math would be total chaos. No one would ever agree on a single correct answer, and simple problems would become unsolvable puzzles. So, a long time ago, mathematicians came together and agreed on a single rule, a universal order that everyone must follow. That rule is called P-E-M-D-A-S, and we remember it with a funny little phrase. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Each of those words stands for a step. Please stands for parentheses. Excuse stands for exponents or powers. My and dear stand for multiplication and division. Aunt and Sally stand for addition and subtraction. This phrase acts like a checklist to help us know what to do first, second, and so on when we're faced with a mix of operations in the same problem. Let's go over each part clearly. Parentheses always come first. If something is grouped using brackets or round symbols, you must solve that part completely before touching anything else. Even if the math inside the parentheses is complicated, you do all of it first. Next come exponents. These are powers. For example, 5 raised to the power of 2, which means 5 multiplied by 5. If you see any powers in the problem, you handle them after completing all the parentheses. Then comes the part that trips up most people, multiplication and division. These are on the same level in priority. So you don't always multiply first just because it comes earlier in the phrase. Instead, you scan the problem from left to right and do whichever of the two appears first. For example, look at this expression, 30 divided by 5 times 3. If we multiply 5 times 3 first, we get 15, and then 30 divided by 15 equals 2. But that's not correct. According to the order of operations, we go from left to right. So first, 30 divided by 5 gives 6, and then 6 times 3 equals 18. That's the correct answer. Finally, the last step is addition and subtraction. Just like before, they are equals. You don't always add before you subtract. Again, you move from left to right and solve as you go. For example, take this one, 30 minus 5 plus 3. If you add 5 plus 3 first, you get 8, and then 30 minus 8 equals 22. But that's not how the rule works. Following the correct order, we move left to right. 30 minus 5 equals 25, and then 25 plus 3 equals 28. That's the correct way to solve it. This order keeps everything consistent. Without it, two people could do the same problem in two different ways and get two different answers. Now, let's use that idea to solve the problem correctly. According to the order of operations, we start from the left 
and look for any division or multiplication. The first operation from the left is 20 divided by 2. That gives us 10. So now our expression becomes 10 times 5 divided by 2. Next, still going from left to right, we do 10 times 5, which gives 50. Now we're left with 50 divided by 2, and that equals 25. So the correct final answer is 25. That's it. Nothing fancy. Just following the correct order, left to right, one step at a time. Now that we understand the order of operations, let's put it into practice with a few quick examples. These three problems might look simple, but each one has a small trick hidden inside. And if you don't follow PEMDAS carefully, you'll get the wrong answer. Ready? Let's start with the first example. 5 minus 5 times 5 minus 5. According to the order of operations, we always do multiplication before subtraction. So here, we first multiply 5 times 5. That gives 25. Now our expression becomes 5 minus 25 minus 5. Let's move from left to right. 5 minus 25 equals negative 20. Then, negative 20 minus 5 equals negative 25. So, the correct answer is negative 25. Now, let's move to the second example. 2 plus 2 squared minus open parenthesis 4 times 3 close parenthesis. According to PEMDAS, we always start with what's inside the parentheses first. So, inside the parentheses, 4 times 3 equals 12. Now the problem becomes 2 plus 2 squared minus 12. Next, we handle the exponent. 2 squared means 2 times 2, which gives 4. So now we have 2 plus 4 minus 12. Let's do the addition first. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Then 6 minus 12 equals negative 6. So, the correct answer is negative 6. All right, your turn now. Here's the challenge. 12 minus 3 times 2 plus 2. Looks easy, right? But don't rush it. Follow the order of operations carefully. And when you've got your answer, drop it in the comments. Let's see who's paying attention. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more quick math puzzles like this one.